such. He says, you didn't understand. Even to the last moments of his life, when there were the last breaths going through his lungs, Amirul Mu'mineen protects the honor of Rasulullah. He says, you didn't understand. He says, what? Anna wa ta'ala also tells us something very interesting. Because the statement, history repeats itself, we find often to be true. That when the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, When he says, Anta, minni bi manzilat Harun min Musa, you are like me as if Harun was to Musa. Why? There were certain reasons. One was that Harun was more eloquent. Now we're not saying Ali bin Abi Talib is more eloquent. No, we're saying he was more, Harun was more eloquent and he was the gate for people to understand what Musa alayhi salam was saying. So when they go together to Fir'aun, Harun with the eloquence of his tongue would mention that which Musa salam was, for example, unable to mention. In the same way, the gate to the knowledge of the Prophet of Islam was Ali bin Abi Talib. This was one of the reasons of Hadith al Manzila. Because really you look, when a person looks at the eloquence of Amir al-Mu'mineen, Salamullah alayhi, They understand that after Quran, there is nothing like the statements of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Musa alayhi salam has to say, Ya Allah, allow me to be more eloquent. But eloquence is a stream that flows from the tongue of Ali bin Abi Talib. Today, if you look, I could give you a whole list of names of Arab experts in Arabic literature and rhetoric and balagh and fasaha that were not Shi'i. There's a whole list mentioned, ulama have mentioned, that were not Shi'i. And they were asked, how did you become an expert in Arabic literature, in rhetoric, in balagha, in eloquence? The Arabic language is very vast. How did you become an expert? They would say one, for example, said, I read 10 sermons of Ali bin Abi Talib. After I finished reading these 10, I saw that I am one of the most eloquent of the Arabs. Another would say, I memorized 70 sermons and sayings of Amir al-Mu'mineen, Ali bin Abi Talib, and I became one of the most eloquent. It is from here that eloquence and rhetoric of Arabic grows. That Sharif al-Radi mentions after Quran, Quran is the word of God. Quran, you can find nothing like it. But after Quran, in Kalam al-Arab, he says, this is the place. What? The tongue of Amir al-Mu'mineen is the place men the place where eloquence and rhetoric is born. Harun was the gate to understanding. Musa alayhi salam, Amir al Mu'mineen was the gate to understanding the Prophet of Islam. Harun was there to protect Musa alayhi salam and to always be there to stand up for his brother, whether his brother was present, whether his brother, bro brother was ghaib. You find the exact same quality in Amir al Mu'mineen. And I'll give you one example. That whether the Prophet of Islam is there or not there, he's always there to protect the honor and the sanctity and the wujud and the message of the Prophet of Islam. One example, we know that Amir al-Mu'mineen, salamullah alayhi, on many occasions says, Saluni, Saluni, qabla an tafqiduni. On many occasions he mentions. Ulama, they say on one occasion he mentions on his deathbed. On his deathbed. Amir al-Mu'mineen, as we know, there was so much poison going through his body that the handkerchief that they had placed was yellow. And it was the same color as his skin. His skin becomes yellow due to the poison. As we know that not only was he struck, he was poisoned. Other Emma, they were struck or they were poisoned. Amir al-Mu'mineen, both. He's in this state where his soul is soon to leave his body. In this state of ihtidhar and sakarat, in the last few moments, what does he say? He says, Saluni, Saluni, qabla an tafqiduni. So the companions, they said, Ya Abul Hassan, we don't want to give you pressure. We don't want to make you, uh, ask you fiqhi questions and aqa'id questions. There's no need for you to say this statement for us at this moment. Relax. We don't want to give you pressure. Why did you say such? He says, you didn't understand. Even to the last moments of his life, when there were the last breaths going through his lungs, Amir al Mu'mineen protects the honor of Rasulullah. He says, You didn't understand. He says, What? He says, I wish to show that I, as one of the students of the Prophet of Islam, when I have poison going through my body, I am able to answer your questions on my deathbed in my last moments, and I'm not delirious, and my mind still works. Therefore, how can it be that the Prophet of Islam was delirious on his deathbed? 
on his last moments protecting the honor of the Prophet of Islam. Musa alayhi salam therefore says, Ya Allah, remove.